What's up, Summers? Welcome to another local band, Smoke and I'm your host, is Higher the Most BG. Today we have groove metal artist Hatescape, a song called Truth or Consequences. They're out of Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia. Facebook.com slash Hatescape Band. Spark it if you get it. I was walking to a restaurant, and this guy came up to me and told me that he had asked for me. So I went over there, and he acted like a cop, told me I was under arrest, and he put his handcuffs on me. What? Who was that? Who was that? A sample of in the beginning? Was that like a famous? I did a lot of sick stuff. At the time, I was scared they were gonna catch me. I didn't know where I was gonna go. I didn't know where I was at. That counts as a blur. Damn, blistering kick drum. I don't think the kicks have stopped yet. Maybe like a quick little fill, but that was it. So there's like an interesting story behind this song, I suppose. I'm getting the vibe that it's all about, obviously, like inmates. 23 year sentence for kidnapping and torturing two women. Ray, who lived in Elephant, New Mexico, usually drove a Toyota RV. The FBI is also asking for help to identify this woman who they believe. I feel like the bass is like really, really low. Um, I can't really hear a whole lot that's going on the bass guitar.
Oh, that's cool. Um, Hatescape. Truth or consequences? In the disappearance of Jill Troya, who was last seen the night of September 30th. Joe Troya? Jill Troya? Is that who they said? Uh, Newcastle, Australia. Facebook.com says Hatescape Band. I'm going to go 8.6 to 10. I wrote down for fans of Insane Kicks, Dope Screams, and Blahs. Even though they weren't Blahs, they were like, yeah. It was like the same thing, just without the the B and the L, I guess you'd say. Um, the Kicks to me, though, I thought was too much at some points. At some points in it, I thought that it would have been cooler if he had... I mean, he did kind of like vary it up as the song went on, but there were long parts where there was like 30, 40 seconds of just straight... And the way it's in the mix, it kind of like dominated right underneath the vocals, but above everything else. And I thought it would have been cool if he kind of like broken that up a little bit. Um, other than that, I thought the song was really good. Uh, I thought that the screams uh, were really good. He has good low and high scream. Uh, the guitars were cool. I thought the bass could have been a hair louder. Uh, maybe it was kind of drowned out by some of the kick bass, I guess you'd say. Uh, but either way, I still thought all around it was a pretty good song. So I'm going to go 8.6 out of 10 on that one for Hate Skate. Truth or Consequences is the name of the song. Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia is where they're from. Facebook.com slash hate skate band. Please go like their page and support them. That'd be awesome. Uh, guys, do you want your music on the show? Any artist, any genre from anywhere in the entire world, hit me up on either Instagram or Facebook at local band smokeout. Just message me in either one. I'll message you back and explain how to get your music on the show. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and or the bell. We have more YouTube reactions than any other YouTube channel. Uh, over 2,700 of them. And uh, on Facebook, we're always live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 4.20 p.m. Pacific time. But again, only on the Facebook page. Other than that, I am your host, who's higher than most, BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing. Smoke weed every day. And peace.